Hey, this is Kerry from Mad About Animals, and we're continuing our activism series today, with this video being on rock painting. Whilst rock painting might not spring immediately to mind when we think about what things we can do to raise awareness of animal rights, it's actually a pretty ingenious way of spreading the vegan message. If you're an introvert and don't much fancy the idea of street activism, or if you're a busy parent with little free time on your hands, or if you're simply a creative activist looking to add another string to your bow, rock painting is definitely one way to go. For those of you who don't know, the idea of rock painting is simple. To collect palm-sized rocks which you take home, paint and then leave them somewhere where you know other people will find them, such as a popular woodland trail, a bustling street, outside shops and so on. It really doesn't matter what your painting capabilities are either, as Nigel clearly demonstrates here. In fact, if you are a parent, all the better, as it's a great fun way to not only get your kids started in activism, but doing something creative. Whether you just write a basic vegan slogan, or whether you draw the eye in with a colourful image, it's all going to be beneficial. But, personally, no matter what level you're at, I would always recommend writing the name or URL of a vegan documentary or useful YouTube video on the underside of the rock so the person who finds it can go on to learn more about veganism, which of course is our goal. The only word of warning I'd have with rock painting is to please be mindful about where you get your rocks. Try not to disturb wildlife or insects for the sake of collecting them. And if you plan on purchasing rocks in bulk, be it in store or online, please be aware that many such pebbles are sourced from rivers and have likely caused an awful lot of disruption to many creatures' habitats. I'd honestly just recommend collecting over time, as and when you come across them, then having a big painting session once you've collected over half a dozen or more. Please also make sure you are using vegan friendly art materials. If you're not sure about what art materials are vegan, I'll post a link to an extensive list in the description box below. Personally, I like to use Amsterdam acrylic paints, as they're not only vegan but cruelty free too as are Faber-Castell products, including their marker pens. As for sealant, I use one or two layers of watered-down PVA glue. So, why not give rock painting a go? Nigel and I certainly had a lot of fun when we did ours. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful or informative, please like, share and subscribe, and be sure to check out all our other videos too. See you all soon!